Hi Capricorn, welcome to this community. My name's Sophia. I apologise for the lighting, it looks a bit, but um, lighting affects my eyes. So um, it will be, some of my videos will be darker, some will be lighter. Anyway, so what I was getting was uh, seize the opportunity. Now, I was thinking it's more about the universe, guides, God, whatever you want to call it, telling you to take an opportunity. I'm not sure, and I, like I said, I don't think you've jumped onto it. This could be your person, this could be work. But whatever it is, it's connected with your person. My readings are about your person. For example, it might di directly affect, um, it's not like, if it's not like, oh, seize the opportunity, like your person's come back and you're apprehensive about going for it. It could be a job opportunity that's making you move and you you think, well, I'm not going to be near my person. Maybe you work with your person. Or there's an opportunity like to, you know, jump into this community and you're like, well, he wouldn't know where I am because of he doesn't know I'm going to start tarot, he or she. There's an opportunity, but you don't need to know, right? This opportunity, like I said, I don't feel you've taken it. You might be thinking about it because I feel stillness. So it's like it's not taken yet. I don't even know if you're thinking about it because I can't read that. I can feel that there's just the opportunity is there. Yeah, about collaboration. So it could be work. Or, mm, well, yeah, a small amount of you it could be your person because collaborating with your person, they don't normally, like you say, work as a team with you. You know, it's not a give and take, although it's, anyway, that's another story. So, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Justice, which is Libra and Taurus. So this is about, um, yeah, you not understanding that um, you want fairness with the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, an equal give and take with the Libra. But you've let your person go. This is my uh, fuck off matey card. Look, you've got rid of him. Let's see if he goes. There, look, pissed off, fuck off, matey, but they don't go anywhere as they remain in the picture. Your star seed, light worker, twin flame, humanitarian, soulmate, doesn't matter. If you're a compelled, well, compelled, yes, but most of you don't do it, but you have this inner calling that you are here for a bigger purpose. Not everyone has that calling. So you are here to change planet Earth because you're an alien being, which is different. So this is about you want some justice here. So you've let, that's why I was, why well, I went down that spill because they all, you always have someone who's always in the picture, right? You can let them go, but they're always around. You feel energetically connected. You always think about them. How many exes do you have? You don't think about all the exes, all the, you know, dates you went on. This person particularly is because it's a, a soul, literally soul, because soul is kind of connected with energy, an energetic contract with someone which will put you on the correct path. So three of pentacles, like I said, this could be, this is my me card, right? I didn't create the cards. Oh, do it like me, make it enlightened. But I do refer this to me because I'm older, right? Wise, right? And enlightened. I wouldn't like to use the word enlightened because you're always getting enlightened. I learn so much from everyone um, every day. But this is about, you know, going towards enlightenment, let's just say, healing yourself because it's yellow and knowing the Kabbalah because that's a pomegranate. The tree of crump pomegranate in the background, I do follow my intuition. So this is about following your intuition. There's an energetic vibration at the moment pushing people to go into the alchemical element of intuition because people are not manifesting correctly because they're not following the, the signs and synchronicities like i said there's some kind of something that's in your reality for you to, to seize that opportunity instinctively i think that's the word right um you know to go towards it right um because if it's bad you would know as well you'll be like oh i have a awkward feeling i didn't have this bad feeling about it right so but like i said the reason you're not jumping on board three of wands three of wands is standing there waiting right for justice is because maybe you're waiting for your person to come back to see if i should jump on board it but intuitionly right it, you're enlightened you know so why is it i'm just gonna see why this one's here it's like you're waiting for clarity from like a reading like this or from someone who's enlightened to say, yes, go on to that path with the three of pentacles here with a version of me. 
underneath this is your person here so they are being cold over there so this yeah this opportunity i feel that's uh, uh come towards you right that um is about you taking it i feel your person's not in the equation because if that they are skewing you and that means you are reliant and codependent on your person you're not trusting this is about manifestation as well the delay with the temperance card here is because you're reliant on your moves which was how another person is right but still you're like well no i'm not but i'm like yes you are this reading is clear if my person can't contact me even though i'm pissed off and we split up and he doesn't know where i am how are we going to get back together well if you this is you're here to teach people how to manifest if you want a bigger house and you haven't got the money right most people save their little monies which they never save there's never such a thing as saving enough right um but you're supposed to look for the house obviously don't go and get a bl bloody um you know uh a rock star mansion you're supposed to look at the house which is you know which you want to go for what's within your reach visualize yourself being there visualize the agent coming around all that kind of thing manifestation then making action steps okay what can i do to the best of my ability to get this house most just sit and save right that's why most 99 percent is skin lack mentality poor and the one percent is rich why i'm going down that road is because you are saying you're not waiting or you're not doing anything for your person temperance card here right um because they are negative they've cut you off whatever because the temperance is uh balanced really as well balance and balance but at the same time why aren't you jumping on this opportunity then I said this is about trust because trust is okay like i said you research the house you do everything you do everything possible and then you let it go up you know give it up to god is a godly term they say right and then they bring the best thing for you the best house or the house that you want for you into your reality you are waiting for some kind of sign because you're getting intuition here to move forward uh, what to do so they cut your person out so you make the decision so you create your world you you know you're already attached to this person that's why you don't want to jump into this opportunity because if not you would have jumped into the opportunity because i feel this opportunity isn't negative so you are attached to your person on codependency of an outcome of him coming back right so like even if he comes back cold okay at least he's back i'm in contact i'm i'm gonna then make the choice but they've made it like he is cold and distance he or she so you jump on this opportunity so underneath it's like well he's not seeing how amazing i am not seeing my cup and saying staying in third party third party could be anything staying over there with work could be third party is anything which is an interference to make you two get together that's it doesn't have to be uh an ex it doesn't have to be someone else this could be like um he feels he has to stay in this job over there working you know 20 hours a day that's third party so whatever the third party is is why you released your person but he's still in the picture like i said the bird is still here in the picture so it's like well um this is taking delay because you have to the feminine here right work on yourself go back to why because i is a white dress which is you know virginal let's just say go back to why from your birth right um to why so this could be connected with sexual abuse to why you feel you're codependent because i have a strong feeling here that you think you're not and i'm like why aren't you jumping into opportunities and just getting on with your life there's a codependency here right on a third party just like your person is on an acceptance of someone or something so and it's like you're shielding yourself from your person and not opening up now that's the energy i'm getting from you but this is about working on yourself fully other tower readers which you do watch will just say oh yeah you know whatever and this and that and that but they don't give you results you want results then go to the playlist and see why you're here this makes sense and it resonates this is for you go and find out why you're here stop watching bloody tarot and expecting things going to change just by you're looking at tarot it doesn't tarot is your potential outcome 
is for you to take this opportunity. Your p person, like I said, is still in the picture. There's plenty of people that have just separated with the energies of the planets at the moment. So he's still in your uh, picture. So you can still go ahead and do what you want to do. You're supposed to just do what you're supposed to want to do and trust that you're part, that energetically you're connected. You know your twin flame. If you know your twin flame, your person will come towards you. That's all you need to know. If you want to know more, go to the playlist or just book me. It's a money-back guarantee when you book an image reading. All right? I'm out. Speak to you later.